UFC 271 is five days away, y'all. Your main event, Israel Adesanya, the last style bender. Looks to defend his belt for a second time against the Reaper. Robert Whitaker, we break it down. This is your boy, JG. The Punch Report, let's go. Get the fight. These guys have been on each other's radar for quite a while. This is your boy, JG. The Punch Report, we on deck. At the set at the top, as I said at the top, excuse me, UFC 271, it goes down Saturday, February 12th. Main event, Israel Adesanya, Robert Whitaker, your co-main event, Tai Tuivasa, Derek Lewis. Before that, Jerry Cannonier goes up against the streaking, the blonde-headed Derek Brunson. Let's get into it. Now, I'm going to put the card for this video uh, that I'm about to talk about in this video. So I broke down the Israel Adesanya fight uh, with Rob Whitaker, too. Uh, broke that down. I'll put the card in here. Make sure you guys check that out. While you're at it, please, if you could be so kind, like, subscribe, bell icon for notification. In this particular video, I'm going to get into the three top bouts of the card. This is a damn good card. Um, if you look at the names on there, it's crazy. Spend the money. So I don't have to do another video. Go ahead and spend the money. Order this card. UFC 271, Saturday, February 12th. Israel Adesanya, Robert Whitaker, Christian main event. All right, let's get into it. Israel Adesanya takes on Robert Whitaker. This is a rematch of a unification bout between those two, I want to say, two years ago. <sighs> Robert Whitaker got knocked out twice in one fight. He got knocked out at the end of the first. Watch the end of the first round against uh, Israel Adesanya, Rob Whitaker. He gets clipped when he goes down. My man, he got the mummy, like, like the scary movie joint. Uh, but he's on his back, though. And if you see, there's no time left on the clock. Had Adesanya had an opportunity to get in there and get additional licks, that fight's over in the first round. It didn't matter. Second round comes. Adesanya picks up where he left off. Drops Whitaker. Rob, Rob, Robert Whitaker. That's both names combined. Drops Robert Whitaker. Stops him. Uh, becomes a unified, undisputed uh, middleweight champion in the UFC. In the second round, and a little bit in the first round, you could see Rob Whitaker was having success in spots. But I think Israel Adesanya pretty much resigned himself to say, I'll let you get yours because I know mine's going to be more. And that's what proved to be the case. Rob Whitaker was leaking crazy, banged up, and then got stopped viciously. And then Adesanya, first of all, Adesanya's walkout to that fight, you got to see that walkout. I knew he was going to win when he was doing flips and cartwheels and backflips and all sorts of types of shit. I knew he was going to win that fight. Shout out to Israel Adesanya. Shout out to Rock Lee. Last out bender. But um, what could be different in this fight for Rob Whitaker? I don't know. He's coming off three wins in a row. Um, all UDs. The Jaron Till fight was boring. He broke Jerry Cannier's arm, and he looked good against um, Kelvin, Kelvin Gaslam that, you know, I think he might be at the end of his rope, even though he's a young man um, and a talented fighter, struggles with the weight and stuff like that, you know, getting on the scale and making it. Uh, regardless of division, that's something that's plagued him. But those are Rob Whitaker's last three fights. All UDs. Jerry Cannonier fight was actually a pretty good fight back and forth. Cannonier got his arm broke, like I said before. Darren Till fight was mad boring. And then... Um, who did I just mention? Oh, and then the uh, Kelvin Gaslam. That's Rob Whitaker's last three fights. He fought his way to the top, beat all those guys, battled a little bit of injury along the way, puts himself in a position to fight Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya is undefeated in UFC outside Jan Bohovic, which took place at 205, not his division. Uh, compelling fight until he just got laid on. Shout out to uh, Jan Bohovic. Uh, shout out to uh, Israel Adesanya taking that fight. But uh, he's just been shrieking ever since. I think the last guy he stopped was Boracina. Um, and then uh, he fought Marvin Vittori. And then here we are. The one thing I would say about Robert Whitaker. Here's what I think is going to happen. I take that shit off the table. Here's what I think is going to happen. He's going to get stuck on the outside and get touched up, tagged. Then he's going to say, damn, I'm losing from distance, which is course going to happen talented striker size advantage over you reach advantage over you athleticism advantage over you so then Rob Whitaker doesn't have to do what he did in the first place in the first fight and sell out a little bit ends up getting stopped again maybe later third fourth round I have this fight going to Israel Adesanya retaining his title at UFC 271 against Rob Whitaker shout out to him dope fighter shout to Australia let's go moving right along your co-main event is a dope one Tui Tai Tui Vasa um Derek Lewis um this is some lazy ass assessment I'm gonna give you right now, but it won't go to the distance, shocking. 
Um, fun fact about these two fighters, they both have losses to Junior Dos Santos. Stoppages, TKO. Where's Junior at, though? Shout out to him. He's doing his thing probably somewhere. But what do we know about the two combatants? Tai Tuivasa coming off four-fight win streak. Um, last fought December 18th, I believe. December 11th. Last fought December 11th. Um, quick turnaround, right? February 12th. Two-month turnaround. Came out clean, no injuries. Only issue is he's fighting Derek Lewis last fought December 18th. Derek, Derek Lewis has 21 total knockouts to his name. 13 record-setting knockouts in the UFC. Uh, two fights ago, lost to Gon. Looked bad in that fight, in my opinion. Rushed it. I think the opportunity to actually get the strap around your waist against an opponent who was there to be beaten. I got the best of him. But, you know, he came up short. Anyway, I digress. He just who, who did he just knock out? He just knocked out somebody. Uh, I don't want to call him a bum because he's in there fighting dudes. But he's a dude that I don't know. I know that. Shout out to him. So we just saw him December 18th. Uh, Dowskis. Shout out to you. You got knocked out in the first round. So you got Derek Lewis, Derek Lewis coming off a less than two-month layoff off a knockout victory. Tai Tuivasa, four, uh, four fights in a row, four victories in a row. Uh, also coming off a knockout. How do I see this playing out? Tai Tuivasa is getting knocked out, and he's dope. Because the one thing, he's a big dude and he has cracks. There's no doubt about that. But he needs a little bit of time to rev it up. With Derek Lewis, he just needs a shot. And if Derek Lewis goes in there, he's patient and just chills. He, he gives him that Curtis uh, Curtis Blades uppercut to the yapper. Hey, and Herb Dean let uh, Curtis Blades get fucked up two times after that, too. I didn't appreciate that. Shout out to Herb Dean. I hope you see this. But Derek Lewis, if he's patient... I think I think he's better than people give him credit for, despite the, the the knockout numbers. I think that he's a beast. It's hard for me to root against him, but anyway, I'm wasting too much time. Look, this is not going a distance. Tai Tuivasa, shout out to him. He'd be drinking a beer out of a shoe. That's nasty. I'm never celebrating that. And shout out to my man Derek Lewis with the weird ass post fight interviews and humping the ground and stuff. Shout out to y'all. Moving right along. So this fight's a dope fight. There's history in this fight with the top of the card with this third fight. Jared, Jared Cannonier takes on Derek Brunson. Now, Derek Brunson, shout out to you because uh, you've won how many fights in a row? I think he's won five or six fights in a row. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, uh, five fights in a row. And he's doing his thing and he's beating good guys, guys who were rated ahead of him. He's doing his thing. So then he gonna take on Jared Cannonier. I told you to sit out, G. I said, listen, Derek Lewis with the blonde hair, you doing your thing five in a row? Wait till you title shot. It, it, I'll just sign you. Oh, you know what they're going to do? I'm going to break it down. I'll, I'll just sign you and Whitaker, they're going to fight Saturday. So we know who the winner is going to be. Then they're going to make your ass fight Sean Strickland. They're gonna make, if you win, to, if you win, you might not win. But if you beat Jerry Cannon, they're going to make you fight Sean Strickland. And you'll never fight for the button. I told you not to take these dumb ass fights. I digress. Um, Jerry Cannon there. He just had a bounce back victory. I think he fought... Um, he better not have fought Kelvin Gaslam as well. I think he actually did. Hold up. <laughs> That's hella funny. Kelvin Gaslam's that dude. If you just if you take a bad loss and you need to get back on the horse, then you just fight Kelvin Gaslam and they call it good. Who did he fight last? Derek Jerry Cannonier. He did fight Kelvin Gaslam. <laughs> Shout out to Kelvin Gaslam, though. He's getting beat by everybody. Shout out to Rob Whitaker. Jerry Cannonier takes on Derek Brunson. This is a dangerous fight for Derek Brunson because Jerry Cannonier fought at every division in the UFC. Just kidding. He fought heavyweight, light heavyweight, uh, middleweight, welterweight. I don't think he made uh, welterweight. Anyway, I'm just making shit up now. But big power, tremendous athleticism, crazy ass heart, fought with a broken arm, didn't get stopped. And it's a type of fight where if you're a guy like Derek Brunson who's legitimately worked yourself into a position to fight for a belt, you can end up blowing it because you get stopped by a dude with crazy punching power like Jerry Cannonier, straight like that. For Cannonier, I think it's a good fight for him. I think he was close to fighting for a belt before he fought Whitaker. Obviously, Whitaker at that point in time was the number one contender. Uh, he went out and showed hard and grit and hurt Whitaker a couple times in that fight, but uh, Rob was too much and my man's arm was folded up like laundry. So I think this fight is right where he needs to be to reestablish himself as a legitimate contender at 185 pounds. For me, when I look at uh, Derek Brunson, I just think it's risky. That's a risky fight. Shout out to you. Shout out to Risks. Uh, that's a risky fight, but you've been doing your thing. Um, fun fact about uh, Derek Brunson, they both lost to Wiz, uh, Whitaker and Adesanya. He'd been stopped by both of them. So, um, you know, that's it. USC 271. And listen, I don't want to make fun of anybody. 
but hold on let me go back here ufc tech 271 like i said buy this card i'm not changing my mind i'm not trying to change your mind but what i do want you to know is this is what you call top heavy but this is still a pretty good job adesanya whitaker Derek lewis tai tuivasa Derek hanier Derek brunson kyler felt phillips and marcelo rojo and bobby shout out to bobby green making a main card bobby green hold up bobby hold up i don't want to keep you what's up with bobby green though he beat Alakin to win November, so he got on a main card. Shout out to him. Anyway, this is your boy, JG. This has been the Punch Report, UFC 271. It goes down fab February. February, Saturday, 12. Y'all get the card, buy it, do it. Do it. Like, subscribe, bell icon for notification. We out.